Hello everyone, welcome back to Olsen Cafe. Now today, let me walk you through all right, solving this question all right, regarding finding the bearing of D from A. Now this is a question whereby the diagram is not so straightforward. All right, it takes a little bit more of the effort all right, to understand the question. So let us read the question together. So over here it says that in the diagram, we have A b c and d are four corners of a field and over here we know that ad is equal to 53 meters and dc is equal to 87 meters and bc is equal to 66 meters now what is also given is angle abc all right it is equal to 90 degrees all right, and angle ACB, which is here, this is equal to 58 degrees. Now, since it is given that ABC is 90 degrees, so let me put this information onto the diagram. Now, once I have this, all right, let's see what else is given. And it is also given that the bearing of B, of B from C is 340, so which means this is the angle here, all right, it is equal to 340 degrees. And the question asks, find the bearing of D from A. Now, so we already know by now, all right, if we want to find the bearing of D from A, so the key word here is the word from. So which means, all right, from this point A, I will need to look out for the north line. All right, and with the north line, I need to identify the angle that is clockwise direction down. Okay, so let's indicate this diagram or this angle on the diagram. So I have a north line over here. So this north line at point A, and it is north from the north line clockwise direction down until, all right, it touches the line that joining A and D. So this is the angle that we need to find, yeah. Now, but before we proceed to solve, all right, the angle. So let's um take a look at the diagram and see what else do we know, all right. So um it is good to know a few things, all right. So what you observe is, all right, that this north line they are parallel. All right, so if this north line are parallel, there are a few things that we need to know. All right, if we have a parallel line, all right, so which means I am able to either use alternate angles or I can also use corresponding angles or I can also use interior angles. All right, so let's do a little bit of the recap. Alternate angles, it look like a letter Z with two lines parallel. Corresponding angles, all right, it looks like a letter F when the two lines are parallel this way. And whereas for interior angles, all right, it looks like a letter C, all right, when the two lines are parallel here. So if you want to use the property, right, so alternate angles, that means the letter Z, the in angle here these are equal and then these are the corresponding angles and interior angles will be here so for interior angles we know that the two angles add up together all right this will give us 180 degrees so this is a very important um, angle properties that we all need to know in order to help us to find bearing all right so let's take a look at the diagram again so in this case all right i do know that i have a pair of north lines all right so they must be parallel together right so then i also take a look at this line ac all right so with this what do you think all right that we can apply it over here all right so we actually can use the interior angle yeah so with interior angle which means i am able to find out what is this angle here all right this angle is equals to this one over here all right so 58 degrees is already given now how about this small little angle over here are we able to find this angle that is between the north line and the line bc so if you observe right you will notice that this angle here which is the bearing of b from c 
all right this is equals to 340 degrees so given angle at the point all right it is actually 360 degrees so therefore this small little angle over here all right we are able to identify that it is actually equals to 20 degrees which means this gives us that this whole angle here all right that we want to find it is actually equals to 78 degrees now with this right over here this angle by using interior angle property i'm able to work it out as this is 180 degrees minus of 78 degrees all right so this one is done so which means these all right leaves us with this little angle that we need to find so once we are able to find this angle right we are able to find bearing now so again how can we find this angle now let's take a look so over here what we see all right in this triangle a d c all right so in this triangle a d c what do we have you notice that we have the sides 53 meters we have 87 meters and we have also 125 meters and what we also observed right that this angle that we want to find right it is actually opposite to the sides 87 degrees yeah so over here what can we what can we do here so i am going to apply cosine rule because since this is a non right angle triangle so i'm going to apply cosine rule here so therefore in triangle a d c so let's apply cosine rule formula so which means i have cosine a equals to 53 square plus 125 square and then minus of the opposite side which is 87 square and then this divide by 2 times 53 and 1 2 5 now i input the values into the calculator all right which is second function cosine and i include all the values in i will be able to find all right angle a which gives us 34 point nine two degrees so this angle is done all right so with this i am able to find what is the bearing all right so we are ready now so bearing of d from a so this is simply equals to 180 degrees minus 78 which is this angle here and i simply add the new angle that i found which is 34.92 degrees so when i put all this together all right so i have 180 minus 78 plus 34.92 i put all these together i'm able to get the answer which is one three six point nine degrees so the final answer is rounded off to one decimal place so this is the final answer yeah so one simple question finding the bearing of d from a but it requires multiple steps all right so i do advise all right you to go through the steps again and trying to understand a few right the concepts behind yeah so do take note the property all right of all the angles all right and the next one will be how can you apply cosine rule and how can you simply add the things together all right and get the final answer all right so with this all right i hope you find this video useful i see you in the next video bye